To episode 63 of the Family Base Pod. My name is Jake. And today is our first episode. We actually took off last week because kind of late news was that Ben and his wife uh, had their first kid. And so we decided to take the week off and just kind of, uh, yeah, we all got a break. So Ben's not the only one. All of us got a bit of a break. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm tired after that. That baby stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, mm. I'm, I mean, I have a seven-year-old, so I mean, in some ways, I'm still getting. I'm just getting the. They can. She can vocalize her displeasure. <laughs> um. No. Oh, uh, I haven't heard much, but either way, so yeah, so. First episode back, let's uh, jump right into it real quick. So, Dallas, I'm throwing this at you very last minute. Do you have anyone you would like to induct into the family uh, this week? Nope. Taking a week off. Nope. Taking a week off. All right. We'll 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 jump back in. We we don't let anybody in. Yeah, we're just voting T.I. Petro, but either way. um, You're rubbing shoulders with T.I. and Fat Joe. Pretty exclusive club. That's right. That's right. All right, so uh, we'll start again next week, and we'll uh, kind of figure out what's going on. So let's just jump into a couple topics, and then we'll just kind of do a couple top fives and call it a day. Let's do it. All right, so Derek Jeter has made news. I'd say two... One was a leap back appearance, and one was an announcement about his employment. Let's start off with the employment that was the most recent. Ditch starting this season, Derek Jeter will be joining the Fox baseball team alongside Arod and, and David Ortiz, Frank Thomas. Um, I think that's it. Either way, so this year, Derek Jeter will be joining the Fox baseball team i find it interesting that he's gonna be set next to erod that's all yeah um i don't know I, all of them aren't they like not the biggest fans of each other or i mean not nah. see I, they publicly say like they were really good friends when they were young and then you know i'd say when they when they started to compete as, like, who's better. And let's just get this out of the way. A-Rod was always a better talent, but their Jeter won World Series and was, like, the captain. So I think that's when they started, like, exchanging words and whatnot. But, um, so that's pretty nothing. Yeah, but... Is that there's there's beef between these two? Yeah, I would say they now say there's no beef, but they're not, like, good friends. Maybe Derek Jeter was sending those gift baskets to some of A-Rod's prospects. I mean, mean, that's all a tall tale, apparently. (laughs) So, yeah. I can see it. it. Signed, DJ. Yeah. All right, so now he's joining Fox. I think that should be interesting. They do a lot in the uh, in the postseason, so it'd be good to get kind of someone who's been there a lot sure. to get his point of view. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the most recent Derek Jeter news. But I'd say the one that went the most viral was that Derek Jeter was on the Jimmy Fallon uh, the Tonight Show. Oh. And they, they play game. They play game probably, I feel like it's like, I don't know, like if you're the month or something, but the game's called True Confessions, in which they pick an envelope. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like one truth, one lie, and you just try to convince the other two people that you're telling the truth, even if you're lying. Well, their cheater went on to tell the story about how in 2004, he went into his worst slump at the plate, and what he decided to do was his teammate, 
had told him that to get out of slump at the plate, he should wear his team. So it's his teammates, Golden Thong. Oh. And it's a guaranteed way to get out of the slump. You're guaranteed to get a hit the next game. Sure. Well, I think I've heard that. Here, yeah, so I guess, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, baseball players are weird as it is. Um, but so Dick Jeter told the story that in 2004, he wore the golden thong after his worst stretch. Mm-hmm. And the first pitch, um, and he got a hit the next game. Okay. So they guess if that was true or false. Well, it was true. Nice. nice. And Derek D- D- made a point to be like, I didn't wear it. I wore it over my shorts uh-huh. underneath everything. Uh-huh. Um, sure, but, he, but he said on the first pitch of that next game, he had a home run. Mm. So... I guess it worked. You're gonna have to look into that. Somebody stat check it. Look for his worst slump on the mean, plate, and then be like, "Hmm, what was his next hit? What was his first hit after that slump?" And if there's no such record as a home run, I think we we all know that he's a liar now, and the basket story is probably true. The most obvious realization. Yeah, the one thing I would say is that Dirk Jeter is hot, very highly private. So the idea that he would share that and it would not be true, I'm like, why would you want people to believe that? I don't know. Um, but I know we both played sports uh, growing up and, and whatnot. Did you ever do anything superstitious uh, to get out of a funk or to do whatever? Did you have any of those? I think there was like... Oh, I tried listening to certain songs during game days. Um, and then, you know, I guess you fall into some superstitions, like, while you're growing up. Like, But then there are some that we adopt, right? Like, you don't walk on the chalk before the game. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. that's just one that most people adopt, and I don't. I have no idea where that came from. I doubt many people do. But uh, please, if, if, if you happen to know, drop it in the comment section or text us. Yeah, please. Um, but, you know, like how you wear your socks. Some people like mm-hmm. the knee highs. Yeah. Or like, you know, showing off your knee highs. Some people kept it around the ankles. Some had the baggy pants. Um, mm-hmm. How you yeah. played around with your batting gloves. I never really had batting gloves. So I didn't really have that option. So I would put dirt in my like you, you, you had the Nomar, like, wristband thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that, have some wristbands. Nomar had that thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I guess we're, we're those, you know, like, um, how, like which strings on your mitt that you play with in between each pitch or, you know, just dumb shit that we all just kind of come up with. You, you think we're, it's, it's the child equivalent to you have to wear your team's jersey if they're in the playoffs or something when you're, you know, older, um, in the, I mean, it was on the office. Uh, Jim Halpert uh, apparently wore his uh, Eagles or Eagles or six, or either way, a sports team's jersey every time, um, and he doesn't wash it. And that's his big thing. Nice. Uh, so, but I do remember growing up, I had, I had a lot of superstitions, but then it kind of verged on like OCD to some extent. I actually questioned if I did have it. It was like, uh, I would lay out my, um, t- lay out my uniform on the ground and have a chair in which I would go over and pick up my uniform and put on in a specific order. <laughs> And if, and if I didn't, it would feel weird, like I rushed it or something. Or like, did you ever do this when he, if you had longer hair, you would have to push it back uh, and put your hat on so your hair wouldn't like get hang down? Yeah, I would do that too. Like if I, I would, it would have to feel right or something stupid. But apparently, a gun thong is in the is in the pros. Well, we all should have been wearing, so, yeah. Turns out the trick to get on playing I mean, the Yankees, wearing golden thongs. Let's not, 
let's not say kids should be wearing, wearing thongs. Uh, we're not promoting or we're, we're not making a stand to the way. Uh, so you know, Derek uh, Jeter is thongs, <laughs> no, no, I would say, uh, none would be the best option. Don't believe him, folks. Um, we all know, yeah, uh, no, I don't. I mean, if anyone, if anyone truly knows me, you know how out of the box so weird that would be. We all know be. those that know Jake truly do know that he right now is putting on a ploy. A yeah, we're... that's okay, Jake. That's okay. I'm I'm not sh- I'm not shaming anyone. Except I'm just you. saying that for Oh thank you. Mm-hmm. Send me a couple. Prefer- I, Prefer- I know Prefer- you're, you're you are a very convincing uh liar on my behalf. <laughs> I know that for sure. Um Yeah, or just making up stories about me. Uh you can ask Aunt Terry about that. Good. Um, yeah, so anyway, Dark Jeter is in the news. There's not really much. It's baseball starts, uh, pre or training camp and preseason starts. I think it starts on the 25th of February, but outside of that, the WBC rosters were announced. I don't know if you, you know, saw that or want to talk about it right now or maybe we can talk about it next week for next week keep the people hanging in a little suspense mm. gotta make them want to come back oh, more. you know i completely forgot about this but uh it is i want to make a mention of thanks jay it my, is not your birthday wow. you are it, it is my birthday baby. It's you up. leave alone you're coming up you're or coming is, up so I had this saved. I I think I sent it to you. Maybe I didn't. But MLB just announced that you you are the person that would love to hear this. Is that uh, you know how this past year position players were pitching all the time? Okay, they just came out with new rules from when that's even allowed. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, so the I have it here. It says a position player may pitch if the game is in extra innings, aka that would never happen. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm guessing they're saying that's allowed because they know it would never right, happen. Right, right. That makes sense. Um, and then it says two more things. It says it's allowed in the ninth inning. Oh, okay. When when trailing by eight or more. Okay. That's not bad. Nice inning. So, yeah, so it's not like the sixth inning right. or something stupid. Right. Um, or if you are in the ninth inning still, but you are leading by 10 or more. Okay. That's fine too. That pretty much says that <clears throat> position players. May pitch rarely. So I'm guessing you like that. I don't even like. I, I think my stance has been pretty neutral on this. I don't really feel one particular like, strong one way or the other. I think Benny's the one who hates it. He abhors it. Ah. And uh, wrong. So for him, I'm happy for him. But I really, I don't care. You know, like I never thought it was a big deal. Like it's kind of, you know, whatever. Cool. So it's, it's a little side showy. Yeah, it is a little side showy. But it, it kind of, but it brings back. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like it brings it back to the playground. Yeah. You know? Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, you're not throwing throwing the ball or lobbing the ball in there. Um. So, I mean, when we would get in there, we'd like throw as hard as we possibly could. Um, yeah, and you know what? That would be fun. You could say it'd be allowed if your position player was throwing the ball over 
80 miles an hour. Yeah, okay. I, I, find, I find that fun. Pretty neat. But either way, so they announced that, and then there's not something we've talked about a lot, but uh, another thing is that people, I think you're on either side of it, but um, in starting this year, it was unanimously voted by the owners that and extra innings you could have that ghost runner start on second base uh during the regular season during every extra inning game so that was something they had in 2020 and people were on the fence if they liked it or not but this year they're gonna start doing it for out from now on and unless they decide to overturn it and completely go back and so is this just for regular season play? Yeah, during the playoffs, then just it does. Right, yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope, though, when they say Ghost Runner, like, it should be a human being out there. Not like <laughs> how we actually used to do Ghost Runners. Like, <clears throat> I don't want, like, if so if, like, the person at bat gets a double, like, that doesn't mean that they, the Ghost scores. Like, that would be outrageous. And there needs to be a human being. Well, there. well, well. Yeah, well, Dallas, let me just say, I didn't put this up there. It's ghost runners, quote-unquote ghost runners. So that just means that to, at the start of the inning, there's a human being on second base. Get, get one of those yeah, highly paid athletes out there to fucking run around the ball part. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's the guy who made the third out of the last inning. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um Gets to be on there. That's cool. So I'm in, I'm in, I'm in favor of it because I just I don't care to watch a very long game. Not for regular season, particularly. Like if it goes yeah. to counts, or you know, not to say that regular season games don't. But um, and I think this really goes. It just speaks to their efforts in speeding up the game. And I think that's that is yeah. one of people's chief complaints of baseball is that it takes forever. So. Now that they have the pitch clocks and like the specifics about it, like a little changed, I think, right for this season, like that's a little faster, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, this this whole adding a base runner on on the second, like, so you start extra innings with runners in scoring position, literally, or a runner in. Yeah. I think that yeah. just shows that they're really trying to bring people's attention back in. Yeah, they're just doing anything they can to not make it. You know, quote unquote boring, as people say. But speaking of the slow paced game to some extent, let's move on to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Um, and the Super Bowl was, I mean, as we recorded, it was last night, mm -hmm. but as you hear it a couple days ago. Um, so you said you watched the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yes. So what did you think of the, the actual game itself? We'll talk about the other stuff, I mean, but what do you think of the game. It's a fun game to watch. Um, yeah. Man, Philly looks really good first half. Yeah. They did. Like, KC did. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Like, it's fun to watch football. It's hard to uh, watch a team fall apart. I don't even know if they, like, yeah. truly fell apart, though. Like, the KC just did better. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a rough, like in the, in the first quarter, it was, a, or I think, yeah, first quarter, it was rough to see, like, it looked like it was going to be very back and forth, like, all, like score, like each drive was going to have a touchdown for a second. And then, yeah, the KC missed that field goal. That's got to suck. But I mean, they still yeah. went away with the win. So it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my wife, my, I, I watched the first half, the halftime show, and I think I saw Kansas City score their first touchdown of the half, but then I, I stopped watching because my wife and I, Allie and I, only get like an hour and a half to ourselves at night, so I want to spend time with her and just hang out and watch a TV show or something. Yeah. So I, really I'm romantic. not gonna. I mean, not really. It, it's just more like we're laying down or sitting down next to each other, mm. just hanging out. 
either we're scrolling TikTok or watching a horrible TV show or something. Um, man, there's a new show. I'm just going <laughs> to rag on it for a second. There's a new TV show that Allie wanted to watch, and now we're just kind of both into just watching to see how, I mean, kind of lame it is at times. Um it's a Paramount Plus show. It's called Wolfpack. Okay. Sarah Michelle Geller. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's her first, like, I think first, rec- like, recurring role in a long time. But either way, 30. she's not really in it. She's like, they they trot her around and made her do interviews. But she's in it, like, for maybe five 10 minutes really? and, and that's it. it yeah nice it's really like uh, it's really about these four teenagers and uh the show is called wolf pack and it's about these four teenagers who are now werewolves oh that's fun and it is hokey and cgi is is it rough sketchy <laughs> yeah all of but it. you guys love it from the show <laughs> No, we don't love it. I mean, you ever have one of those shows where you start and you're like, you're just like, I mean, we started, we might as well give it a little bit yeah. to see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of where we're at. Okay. Okay. Um, so we, anyway, so last night we, second half, I didn't see, I checked on my phone to see how they were doing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, um, I was happy Kansas City won because Philly fans Rowdy, dude. are nuts. So well, well, for one thing, before the game even started, the Eagles fans were flipping cards. Oh, dude. I couldn't believe like that was their pregame. <laughs> like they're already flipping. before the game started. Mm-hmm. Why? Like, what is save it? Anyways, so <laughs> like, I mean, just insane. It's nuts. Um, I could not believe it. I was watching that. Um, Instagram happened. Yeah. So, um, in some ways, I'm. Let's just say this. Uh, if you now notice, the Philadelphia Phillies were in the World Series, uh-huh. lost. Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl, lost. But then people don't know. The Philadelphia Union, the soccer team, was in the MLS Cup, and they lost to LAFC. So they lost three championships this year. Three. Read them, if only it, if only the 76ers could pull off in the mag, a magical run and lose, that'd be great. That'd be, it'd be, a four it'd be amazing. Four and then the Flyers make it to the Stanley Cup to lose. <laughs> yep. Schmoes. Gosh. Meanwhile, that's that's I, rough. I just want everyone to know. I fully admit that all of those athletes are better than me in their respective sports and probably other ones too. But it's not mm-hmm. gonna stop us from shit talking a little. No, no. At least we're honest. Though. No. There's I have no fucking uh, fantasies about like being able to <laughs> walk up to the plate and like hit anything. So at least I'm not doing Yeah. Um, no, I we are very aware. I feel like the uh, three of us are very, very aware that we cannot do anything um, of any kind, um, let alone, you know, you, you still got yeah, it. yeah. I mean, if you gave me a computer, I may be able to type a paragraph, and that would be the extent of my, you know, athletic ability. That's hot. I want you to know that. Yeah. Yeah, I can throw a ball now like this. That's what's up. But I I cannot throw a ball like winding up. It's it's not looking pretty. <laughs> can you still do the motions or is it just too uncomfortable? Uh not really. Okay. I I try and then it just it it just doesn't come out like at all. You know, yeah, the I know how it should feel. I know how it, I should do mm-hmm. it. And then it's just my body's like, no, no you can't. I can feel that way. 
So that's why I stick to this, because I'm like, I can control this. I believe they call that the flick of the wrist, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, all right, so the actual game itself, uh, yeah, so the first half, Eagles were great. Uh, second half, the e- the Chiefs were just more dominant. Mm-hmm. And the Eagles were great the first half. Um, all right, so everyone talks about the commercials. Uh, I know we talked about it briefly before recording. Was it a commercial, or you told me there was a commercial you hated. But let's start with the commercial you liked or something. What was that? I think the one that stood out the most, I don't even know if I like it because I can't tell you which company <laughs> did it. But it made it seem yeah. like the channel changed or the app changed to something else. And that literally had everybody yeah. stop their conversation to look at the TV and then each other and be like, who did that? <laughs> because we want it back to the game. And it was an act- It was just a commercial. That was the most memorable. Couldn't tell you what company it was for, but that was great, great marketing advertisement other than the fact they didn't get the company name across as well as they could have. But that's just me. Maybe kind of remember. You know, I can t- I, I, I didn't see it live, but I can tell you it was Tubi. Tubi. There you go. Right. Exactly. No idea. All right. So what was the what was that commercial <clears throat> you did not like? Oh, I mean, I guess it worked because now I'm thinking about them. But, like, it was the Blue Moon commercial. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was a whole fight between a Coors Light fan and a Miller Light fan. They were literally fighting okay. each other. And then they are like, oh, you think this is a Coors Light commercial? Oh, you think this is a Miller Light commercial? And then the last two seconds, it's like, nah, it's a Blue Moon commercial. It's like, where the fuck did you come from? Like, <laughs> it was the, like, why? Like, why? But, um, but yeah, it worked because I remember it. I was just so disappointed by it. I was like, this is the dumbest shit. And now I can't stop fucking thinking about it. So, I mean, it worked. It worked. It works. But I'm not going to drink Blue Moon. All I'm going to do is think about how I hate that fucking commercial. So I'm not, like, it's not going to actually get me to buy their product, which is, I guess it's not working, but it is working at the same time. So, whatever. What do you got? Do you remember anything? It, it keeps the name in, in mind. Um, I don't really remember too many. That's a bad part. Um, I think the one that I do remember was, I don't even, again, I don't remember what it was for, but Will Ferrell was like jumping in between Netflix, like shows or something nice. like, uh, he was in like Bridgerton for a second, then Stranger Things. I don't, I, I have no idea if it was for Netflix or not. I don't think it was, um, I don't remember. They don't need to advertise. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't know what it was for. It may, may have been for a car, for all I know. Right. Um, so, but I remember it. So I didn't hate it either. I, I don't hate Will Ferrell, so I remember it. Do you, see, um, really, do you, do you love Will Ferrell? Are you oh, romantically uh, interested in Will Ferrell? For Bell? Uh, Do you write him letters? You think about him before bedtime? No, no not that one. Slide in his Facebook DMs. His Facebook DMs. Maybe. I don't that know. is a crossover of different social media. I feel like you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can make it happen. I knew it. Um. I knew it would. um but outside that, uh, I feel like this was one of, not, it wasn't the first time, but I feel like the halftime show was specifically geared for our age group, uh, having, whether you want to call her Rihanna or her name, Brianna. Um, what do you think of the halftime? Yeah. What is that? What do you think of the halftime show? Her, her, her actual name, how you pronounce it is Rihanna. Oh, well. All right, Rihanna. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, do you want to? Cool. She doesn't. She doesn't she, hate it. That, All right. So, if it's someone's name, think of the actual show. I will say her name how she wants us to. But I, you know what? Right. You know what gets under my skin when someone's like, "Oh, have you ever been to a Ibiza?" I'm like, <laughs> "It's a Ibiza. Yeah. Like it's a Ibiza. 
or Budapest. There it says C. Shut the fuck up. Budapest. Yeah. Oh no, I froze. Are you? Did I lose you? You can lost though. All right, so we have time show uh, with Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna did a pretty good job. Since I'm the only one on here right now, uh, Rihanna uh, did some songs that I feel like we all know in our age group. The big thing was that afterwards, after this performance where she was like in the air, like, there we go. Uh, I was talking about how Rihanna was like in the air on this platform. She was. While pregnant. Mm-hmm. And, and performing, and actually singing her songs and not lip syncing yeah, her cool. songs. You could tell she was actually singing. That was nice. Yeah, I mean, I mean, which is nice for someone of her kind of status to not like Fake just it. easily, easily. I mean, because they were doing a lot of wide shots and long shots. She could easily like sure faked it. Faked it. Uh, like, it's like all... Yeah, so what would you actually think of the uh, halftime? Because online, people are kind of split. <laughs> it was cool. Um, it was nice to see her try. I mean, she probably could have, you know, let them know, hey, like, I'm pregnant. I'm not going to be, like, as performy as someone else. Like, yeah. I guess if you're looking for someone to go up and dance and shit, like, dude, if you're looking for a Beyonce experience, like, not everyone's going to deliver that. So I don't know what she normally looks like when she's on stage. So good for her. She was up there. She was still doing little some moves, some yeah. some hip moves and shit. So I'm like, that's cool. She actually sang even better. So um, yeah, no real no problem with it. There was a there were there were times I thought someone else was going to come out on stage with her, like one of her right. Like, uh, she did two songs where Jay-Z was featured in, like, back-to-back. And um, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Like, that would have been cool. He was in the building, but he was not on the field. That would have been neat if he just rushed down there. And he was like, hey, I got to go. <laughs> it's Hope. Yeah. They just let him on. That would have been awesome. But I thought she was fine, man. Like, and they are definitely targeting our generation because we're, like, yeah. we're the consumers. We're the, like, majority of consumers now. Right. Got that almost spending power with all them dollars. Yeah, our generation has like no extra money. Yeah, as, um, as as all of our generation still lives with our folks and won't have babies because we can't afford them and won't buy houses because the boomers still are holding them ransom. Yeah, I mean with this logic they might as well try it out like uh some seventy year old and sing songs because that's really the the people that are buying stuff. Mm. Um either way, um I feel like it. It was fun, right? Yeah, so before recording I said uh I I wasn't gonna be that guy who said this, but when she was at the going close and she was up uh, for uh like original song for a movie or something like that she did the lift me up song for black panther mm -hmm. um when she showed up to go to the golden globes i genuinely thought she was pregnant no one said anything so i wasn't gonna be that guy um who's asking me either way but um so i wasn't surprised or what I was shocked as some people were. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, it was it was good. So the one thing is that you know, again, Dad, our our Dad was watching, and he goes, "I know like all of these songs. Who is she?" So like, so apparently, it's yeah. He's like, "I don't know. I need these songs all the way through, but I know them, and so." I mean, I guess that's, but like, he's not buying, you know, music or something, so. Well, I mean, but that's, that's what the mission, baby. Good, good yeah, for her. So, good for dad. And she has to, she has to put out an album in seven years. Ooh. And she's still, you know, super famous. So, yeah. I thought it was fun. I, I mean, what was given ASAP. 
shit because he got yeah. pregnant again. And <laughs> it's just delaying her oh like, tours and, uh, and another <laughs> record getting put out. Meanwhile, he's making music and put out music. Um, I think it just put out a single like a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Uh, either way. Uh, yeah, so halftime show. Overall, in our opinion, good. Pretty decent, yeah. All right, so last thing we're going to do, we'll keep it kind of tight uh, this week, is that we're going to do a couple top fives and just kind of go through and rank our... going to do an MCU uh, top five, uh, top five characters, and then we're going to do top five TV shows, not of all time, but just our favorites. So we're not we're not saying these things are the end all be all, but to us this is subjective. So if you disagree, put it in the comments and hate us or yeah. whatever. If you disagree, you're just wrong. But That's cool. Yeah, whatever. You're wrong and stupid. But either way, so which Dumb one do you want to start with? Or well, let's just hit up the marbles. We'll go in order. All right, so I. Uh, who who do you want to go first? You go. Do you want do you want to go first in this one or do you want you're first the, in the next one? You're the brains. You can go first. The brains. Jeez. If that's if that's true, then we're in deep trouble. <laughs> um. All right. So very very easy. Number one is Captain America. Nice. Um. Classic. I won't. I'm not gonna say the, uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers, or Sam. Uh, just Captain America. Any iteration is pretty much okay. So I'll go with him, nice. especially in the MCU. He's pretty good. All right. So you got two and three. Who do you got? I think that's solid. I would go with. Um... I would do Iron Man, and then. Hmm. I like Deadpool. I like his sar- like sarcastic. I like his banter. I like that he breaks the uh the like is it the fourth wall? Yeah, I, I like that. I think that's a neat um, twist. Um, like actually addressing the audience, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but both of them are just kind of well, at least you know, Iron Man's just sarcastic. They're both witty. But yeah, almost like almost to the point of anti heroes. But um, yeah, not sure. But I yeah, I enjoy it. I, I like. I really. I mean, and if we're just going based off the movies, Iron Man really was like the arc of the MCU. Um, and I love Captain America. He would have been top one for sure. But. Like Iron Man back in 2007 or 8 was the first Marvel movie to like come out under Marvel Studios. And it just yeah. totally brought the attention and like the, uh, yeah, the focus onto the, uh, like it redefined superhero um, for Marvel yeah. at least. And then you also had, I think around the same time, I, this is totally sidestepping, but you know, like Batman Begins was also fantastic. I can't take that away. Yeah. It's been, it was a totally different, like, parallel of, you know, delivering a comic book story. But, um, but yeah, I think it really kind of laid the, the, the way, laid the way for uh, the rest of the MCU to kind of uh, be what it is today. Yeah. No, I, I yeah, can't even slightly argue with that. Um, all right. So because it's now in the MCU, like officially, I'm gonna say Daredevil. Oh yeah, right. Um, I love, you know, the show itself, the Netflix show. I think is a top ten thing that Marvel has ever done, and as far as movies, TV shows, yeah, um, great top tier. But, but the comic. Uh, comic version of Matt Murdock and Daredevil is fantastic, so uh, I go with him. And then my number, I'd say my number three now is 
is solely based on what I hope. And uh, I, I could have put him uh, higher, but uh, the MCU version of Namor, no more. Mm-hmm. I put him as three because right now he's an anti-hero and he's, uh, he's not going to be in a lot for a little bit, but I love his version in Wakanda Forever. I thought that was fantastic. Um, a, a great addition to it. So I'd go with him. Uh, who's your number three? The Wolverine. That would have been Ben's first. So pretty lucky I got to swoop him at number three. Um, oh, yeah, because <laughs> X-Men's been under Fox. Um yeah, but I mean, but, they're pretty much gonna. They're they're Marvel. Excited to so see them being fine. introduced into the yeah. MCU. Um, Wolverine coming back for, or uh, Hugh Jackman coming back for Wolverine's role in the new Deadpool should be pretty awesome. Um, that'll be really yeah. cool for him to reprise that role. Um, and it still doesn't alter the fact that Wolverine died in Logan. So I think that's cool. Um, but Hugh Jackman's Wolverine character, definitely. Um, other than, like, Iron Man coming out, like, that X-Men came out even before Iron Man did. But um, really started off a very successful X-Men franchise. But I think a lot of people relate to Wolverine. He's just kind of like that, like, Americans, American type dude. Um, mm. Like, people just love, like, the grungy, like, kind of crass, just... Do what it you know. Do what it takes to right. do the mission. Get yeah. done and shit. And just being a grumpy little fuck, but he's super strong, agile. Like the regenerative abilities are obviously his staple. Um, yeah, yeah. His heightened sense of smell, and he's just just really cool character. He is a slight like diversion, or uh, just like with meat and powers, like Punisher. Mm. Like, he's going to go crazy and, like, kill everyone in the room. But right. then also he has these powers. and um, But unlike Punisher, Wolverine is, like, has emotions most of the time. <laughs> um, so, I love the Punisher, don't get me wrong. Even the current comic book series of the Punisher is one of my favorites of all time. But, um... Either way, so you Wolverine you picked in number three. Who's number four? Uh, I'd say Thor. Yeah. Uh, not. Nah. Do you like him being as funny as he is now? I wish they just toned it down. Serious? I really liked. Yeah. Um. Ragnarok. I really yeah. liked Ragnarok. But I feel like they really leaned heavy into that for Love and Thunder. Like into... Yeah. Like Thor needs to be kind of smart. And I feel like they're kind of making him out to just be some doofus that we can all laugh at. And... Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't, like, don't want to see his character become too dumb. I haven't read any of his comics to know whether or not he is. But I kind of... I just have a sneaking suspicion that he's not dumb. So... Like, I don't know. No, it's not. Just like, reel it back. He is, he's thing. not dumb. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. so. So, like, just reel it back just a little bit. I felt like they had a pretty good balance in Ragnarok, maybe a little slightly still too on the comedic side. I liked Dark, yeah. I liked dark World. It was cool. Um, that Definitely better than the first one. I thought the first one, like, they were trying to find a groove, and they couldn't really quite put their finger on it. It was a very, it was a cool introductory, like, movie but uh, I feel like the second one was yeah. better yep so four is, well three is Wolverine four Thor alright I have the number I have my number four and five picks and genuinely I'm I'm very torn because I can there are so many good ones and that's our part Um, I feel like you know you could you Cannot go wrong for the most part with any of these, because I have the four. The the four I want to pick for these two spots are Spider Man, uh, Black Panther, Shang Chi, and uh, 
the fourth one is Miss Marvel. Uh, for me, it's all subjective. Just keep listening to them. Keep, 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 keep picking all. I mean, I mean, that's yeah, the thing is that they're all they're all different. But for me, like, yeah, because it's my list. It's not like general list. Um, I'm gonna have to go with. I would pick Miss Marvel then at number four if it's my list. Um, and then the hard part is going from there. Uh, I know Dust just dropped on again, but I'll keep going. The number five pick, it's yeah, it's very hard. Uh, there's so many good ones. Um, welcome back. Thank you. I have not announced my fifth one, but I will just do that now. Um, my, I'd say my favorite, my number five, I'll go with um, Spider-Man. Dang, nice. Solid. I mean, that it's, it's weird that he went pretty low on that. But again, there's so many good ones. I'll, I'll go with Spider-Man number five. Can't go wrong. Nice. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. So who's your last pick, your number five pick? Man. I want to say... Are we just going with my... I, I, I would say probably Gambit was just cool to me growing up. Yeah. I thought he yeah. was fun, and then, totally. like, thinking of the X-Men and, like, particularly Gander, because he really had an unsuccessful, like, live debut um, in the X-Men world, but I just, yeah, like, the theme song, Waking Up Saturday Morning, like, he was always on the show, and um, I thought his accent was cool, it was like, dude, where's this fucking dude from? And he's like, just New Orleans, so, we're fr- yeah, so, yeah. It, was just, it was just a cool character to me, at that bow staff. And then he could like put kinetic en- energy into like trans. I think he could transfer it into like the, the deck of cards that he had and stuff. It was pretty. Yeah, cool. it was a cool character. Yeah, yeah. No, he definitely was there. Again, I read comics a lot. There is a new Gambit series that just came out, um, and it's yeah, it's actually pretty good. The one, yeah, the one thing is you have to get used to how he speaks because it's even in the writing it, you can hear the accent um that's cool all right so there's so many other ones all right but let's go to uh top five tv shows just just for fun i'll just go off the top um i'll see you go first on this one all right good because i know you're not taking it but i'm gonna take it anyway it's game of thrones number one number one new show no way it's up there you gotta check it out i mean no one's given me a good reason or a convincing, like, you know, reason. The story. Um, that's reason enough. It's an amazing story. The character development. It's a whole new world. That you get to learn. That's Latin. I know. But he's also in it. What if I said that? Would that convince you? That might convince me. Aladdin is in it. And <laughs> okay, knowing well, knowing the show, he'd probably be naked for a scene. A scene? You mean an episode? Maybe. Um, maybe. Maybe. Um, I'll just go off the top, off the top on that one. Number one is the office. Good choice. It's a good choice. You could. I mean, strong choice. It's our it's our generation's like friends. Uh, Ugh, fuck friends, friends dude. Friends. I do, I do. I understand. My wife loves it. I know plenty of people who like it. Yeah, a lot of people do. I understand. I mean, mom even watches it at night. I know. So I don't know who brought yeah. her, who got her onto the friends train, but I, I think they should. I don't know. Small fart. Oh, I mean that you could you could have <laughs> said much worse. So. Yeah, you're welcome. It's good. All right, uh, The Office is number one. Uh, number two, that's uh, that's hard, but the one that keeps popping out mind is 
I could watch it like over and over again is I know it's new, but I'm going to go Ted Lasso. Oh yeah, dude, that's a solid show. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. You could watch it like we, you could watch it like five times, like back to back and it would still be good. Yeah. Like, still, still be fun. fun. And, uh, so the neat thing that it, I mean, it's about soccer. Well, not, it's not though. Like, and I think it's a, I feel like it's a work. It's like a workplace comedy with right. soccer and some background. sports. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a soccer dominated show. It is. It's a fun show. No. It's yeah. A, it's a feel good show too, for the most part, but it's a good show. Solid yeah. Picks. Solid. All right. So what would you say is your number two then? Um, see, all right. I, there's different, like there's differences in the shows, right? It's like shows that I could put on all the time. Like if I guess if I was going to pick one of those, I would probably put New Girl as number two. Oh, bro, you got me. <laughs> it's a fun one. And I can just start it at anywhere, so like it doesn't need to go in a particular order, but it does follow like you know like a long kind of like character arc and like story yeah. arc. But um, you know, new little purposes of the each episode, so it's like you can literally just turn it on anywhere. It's not like you'll be lost. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, that was definitely out there. Um, what is your number three then? What's For another a good one? show, I put down Band yeah. of Brothers. Solid, very good mm. show. No, I've never seen it. Now that one, it's an HBO original, but I think uh, it's Tom Hanks and Spielberg have hands in mm. directing, and. Um, mm. There are a lot of big actors in it that you wouldn't have known were in Band of Brothers. But like you're like, oh shit, I didn't know they were in this. But um but it's like the whole ensemble that and like just the picture and like how things are shot, the, like the accuracy of everything is Yeah. It's really good. It's really well made. Hmm. Yeah, I uh Um hold on one second. We're keeping it in. We're keeping it in the podcast. All right. Um, and the hard part for me is I'm so, I watch like a lot of new stuff, so it's hard to get that up my mind. Um, number three for me would have to be because I literally watched it from episode one, season one, all the way to the end. I know, I know it's not the best show. I get that. But it's one of my favorites to watch is if I'm going to watch. No, no. Hmm. Number three for me is Suits. Okay. Because it, I literally watched it from beginning to end as it came out. And That's then cool. um, it was, I know. Every, every scene, every scene, it, it's a male soap opera. Every scene, it's great. A guy, a lawyer walks into the room, they have a fight, and then there's they have one last word, one last sentence, and they walk out. Right. I, that is every, almost every scene. But I liked it. So I liked it. Go that. Harvey Specter, man. Such a G. Yes, yes, he was. <laughs> yes, I was surprised. Was. Some of those, some of those actors, I'm like, after I don't know how many seasons, like seven seasons or something, you would think you'd be able to line up a next show, but they've had a hard time finding a show uh, that's shows a, afterwards. That's yeah, that's yeah. a bummer. Well, I, mean, I, uh, I feel like it's also though, like, like Ross from Friends, right? I don't know what else, like he's been in some other shit. I don't care. He's Ross still. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe right. it's like after you're on a show like that, like you become like you are synonymous with the character. You know, maybe that's yeah. They're, they're yeah, both. but like with the, with the Office though, like you know those two, specifically Steve Carell and John Krasinski have like not been defined by. Oh, you know what's her names? Rachel in the show's done pretty well for herself. Rachel. Yeah. Who? You know, she's like married to the one of the British royalty. Oh, 
on seats. Meghan Markle? Yeah, that's it. Meghan Markle. Yeah. She's done pretty well for herself. I mean, yeah, that's true. You know, Probably you know, they were, possibly they were invited. Than other TV actor. Yeah. Yeah. You could make the argument. Yeah, um, I know the cast, uh, like the main actors were invited to the wedding and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be that's nice. wild. This is um, all right. So you picked your number two and three. Uh, I'm going to go, or, yeah, sorry, I'm, I picked number three, all right. All right, my number four, I would say my, it's a show, if you like, yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Number four is, uh, it's a show called Parenthood. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, if, you, if you have not seen it, um, let me pull up, I forgot what, uh, because I didn't watch it when it was on TV. That's the one thing I find funny about it. Forget what network it was on. ABC or ABC, I don't know. Uh, it has a bunch of, like, big name people in, like, the... It, it's it's like a big family, and it's all the storylines of their lives being together and whatnot, so... Yeah, you could drop me into any season, and that's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, um, but yeah, so number four and five for you. What you, what you got? What you thinking, dude? I I would have to go with I believe probably Peacemaker on HBO. <laughs> dude, okay. That show. Maybe it's just because it surprised me. I thought it was outstandingly funny so I, I i could watch six hours of that show straight and be good and it's, that's funny it's just funny to me i don't know it's dumb it's just dumb funny and like i just think that's it tickles my funny bone i guess um let's see number five man it's tough like all right i want to give an honorable mention not making it though is is lost Really enjoyed yeah. the first two seasons. Really good. And then just fell off. It's also like another show that I really liked was Heroes. Another honorable mention. Really good. Like, I really enjoyed the first maybe three seasons. Then it was just like, eh. But um, the number five spot would go to... Oh, no. <sighs> I just fucking forgot it, dude. <laughs> Oh, I, I was I was picking I was gonna pick Reacher. I really liked Reacher. Hmm. Yeah. Um after reading some of the like the novels, uh, I thought they did a great job casting. Um uh, one of our longtime listeners, Uncle Mike out there, um we we've talked about it before. Like Tom Cruise and Benny and I have talked about this too, but Tom Cruise as their selection for the Jack Reacher movie was just dog shit. Like I really wish they didn't do that. Because he's nothing like what Reacher is. Reacher in the books is 6'5 and like 240 pounds. Tom Cruise is the opposite, 5'6 and fucking not 240, like maybe 140 on a heavy day. Yeah. So, um, and like he's supposed to be just like a grunt, but like he was an army officer who can kick some mad ass and he's like super smart and sarcastic and, but also witty. And um, he's got a really cool like set of, Co like a, a code too, like he's just the nomad that wanders and like just goes right. wherever he wants to. And it's the this show did a really good job showing that I thought. So really looking forward to season two. Looking forward to reading more of the novels too. But uh, highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah, they've only had one season so far, and uh, yeah, it was uh, surprise. Well, also it was like they're. Uh, oh my gosh! Now you remind me in, in, of another show. All right, but you've got was that your fa your five? It was. All right, man. I, I want to go with something that you kind of went with as a, a show with one season that shows a lot of promise, mm -hmm. or do I want to go with something that's has a lot hitter. more content? <laughs> 
yeah, like a lot more time to watch. Um, oh man, because I, I I could go with like an MCU show, mm-hmm. which I I've, I've liked most of them. Um, Did you like, already say Daredevil? No, but I could. You could. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't, honestly. Oh, man. Yeah, Loki. that's it. All right, I'm going to go with quality one season. Oh, wow, okay. And, and say, because they know they're going to make a lot more. And uh, it, it was shocking how uh, much I liked it. Hmm. Um, um, again, I, I know, like, the, the fan base is going to hate me for it, because, or, like, the purists are going to hate me for it. Uh, but the Lord of the Rings uh, prequel show, Prince uh, of Power, okay, the, okay. Fir- the first season, even, I would say, the first episode I was blown away by that show. Nice. So much so that I was that it's making a top five. Wow. So um I mean just the just the visuals alone are like you, you could take stills of that and like put it on your wall as paintings. Yeah. Like it's it just looks so good. But also the storylines are good, the uh twists are good, um there's laughs. There's uh, I know it's I know it's like a fantasy world type thing, mm-hmm. um, um, but it's good. It, it was one of the shows that I enjoyed watching every week, and uh, um, yeah, I'm very very excited to see what they're gonna do. But also, they had one billion dollars yeah. to make it, so it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I hope it's good, dude. So, uh, are you are you one to watch it every week, or did you wait to binge it? What's your style? All right, so so I did. Benny convinced me to do the you know wait till it's over and then watch it, uh-huh. and then I found myself just getting busy with stuff, mm-hmm. so I just didn't ever. So like Andor was the show. He kind of he, he didn't tell me to not watch it, but. That was the show I didn't watch week to week, and now I'm like, I don't know, it's, it's different. I, I'm watching it, and I'm like, I don't know if I like this as much, but so maybe I get swapped up in the week to week thing, hmm. um, and uh, waiting will give me a different perspective, but I watch that show, or I watch most shows week to week. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. All right. So- yeah, so like there's a show that comes out Wednesday, I watch it every week. There's two shows that come out Friday week. Ali and I watch that. Um, nice. Oh, yeah, man. so any uh, any honorable mentions? Um Daredevil. Daredevil. Um again, most of the MCU uh T V shows I like. I don't care what these bros say on the internet. I <laughs> I like most of the shows, including the female-led shows. Uh, I probably like those. I, I, this will, this would piss off an MCU guy. I, I like Miss Marvel and She-Hulk more than I liked Loki. Wow, that is um, upsetting. Mm. Take it back. Or yeah, you're not. Or I, just you're yeah. getting canceled right now. Yeah, I, I couldn't care less. <laughs> couldn't care less. Have you seen Peaky um, Blinders? That's it. That should have been top five mm-hmm. for one of us. No, I had not seen that. Oh, Jake, you got to give it a shot, man. That's a fantastic show. That is a good Netflix. Who's in it? Is it? Is that Killeen Murphy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And then there's um, there's a couple people in it that you'll recognize, um, but not many. Like, if I saw yeah. anybody, any of these actors in something else, I'd be like, ah, that's like so-and-so from, from Piggy Blinders. Mm. Um, yeah. Except there is, uh, right. what's his name? Tom Tom Hardy is in a couple seasons. Yeah. 
Um, he's probably, he might be one of the bigger. Oh, shit. Actually, um, so is, who's the dude in the pianist? Pianist? Uh, yeah, no, I, I know him. Yeah, he's in it also for a season. Like, it's a good show. It's a really good yeah. show. It's really enjoyable. Hmm. They're uh, making a movie yeah. out of it. Really? Yeah, they're gonna have a yeah a movie to follow it up. Is it like without everyone from the cast, or no, is it I think some it's, of them? It's gonna be most of them. So like one of the uh, the wow. lead female characters, like the actual actress, passed away during production. So um, mm. they kind of had to write her character out, but um, which is unfortunate because she was actually really central to the storyline. But um. Anybody that's listening and hasn't seen it, it's about a family yeah. um, in Birmingham, England, that um, hmm. is, uh, they're all in like a gang. They all, like, they're all hmm. in a gang, and it's just like their yeah. rise to power, and particularly one character um, who's head of the family, Thomas Shelby, it follows him and like their rise to power and their exploits hmm. and stuff. So, so it's it's the English version of like the Sopranos in Yellowstone. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude, Yellowstone was a good choice too. I actually really enjoyed mm. Yellowstone. I didn't think I would. I haven't. I, and I just started watching it like two weeks ago. So it's it's that's yeah. a fun show, man. I I really do. Enjoy it. Dang. Mm. There are a lot of good TV shows. Yeah, there are like. I feel like in the last, you know, we're in the golden age of TV where it's like TV shows are king and movies are like you know, big blockbusters or mm-hmm. artsy indie films. Um, and TV can be anything you want. So. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. We are really, really lucky. Uh, all right. So I think we had uh, some good top fives. That I feel like we can make like a top 10 for each one. Do it. <laughs> right, right. Just stop there. Easy. All right, so uh, we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Uh, coming soon, uh, my my friend, uh, family, oh, he's not been inducted into the family yet, but he is pretty much in it. Brandon Coleman. Yeah, buddy. Is that, yeah, obviously that's before he, uh, was it, got sick? Before his, yeah, his surgeries. And... Yeah. Poor guy. Um. Yeah. So, uh, Jay Carmel and I went, had a deep dive into the Cubs. Talked about the off season so far. Talked about their pitching, their lineup, their prospects, and the future of the Cubs. And that's like a two hour episode. So, watch out for that. That's coming out soon. But again, we'll be back next Wednesday with the brand new episode. So. Thanks for watching or listening. Subscribe, share, rate, like, comment, whatever you want, whatever you need. Uh, do that. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, I'm Jake. And I am Mike. Call me Mike. Yeah, I'm moving forward. Uh, it's, either, it's either the beginning or ending. I waited for it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Hey, I'm Eden. Thanks for watching this episode of my dad's podcast. Check out the links in the description to follow the podcast on TikTok, Instagram, and other and the other social media. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell to let you know when there's a new episode. Thanks for watching and, li- and or listening. Bye. Bye.